Attention please. This uploading is only for educational purpose. No intention to infringe copyrights. Learning English with subtitles. G Patrol. Follow us. Hello, I'm Claire Sweeney and this is 60 Minute Makeover. Today we're in Turnpike Lane in North London. If you're into design but you can't find the time, then keep watching because this is the show where our design team will transform your home in just 60 minutes. Today we're making over this three bedroom Edwardian house. It's home to two sisters, Veronica and Beverly, and their brother Paul. He's a drugs counsellor and a stand-up comic. Veronica's a scriptwriter, and Beverly's a reflexologist. They all have really cool jobs, and they want a cool house to match. Got a horrendous kitchen, We've got no idea what to do with the lounge. We've got bedrooms that look like student digs. Um, we're three grown-ups, and we've got this house, we've got no idea. And we know we want to have kind of like a grown-up, stylish place. Designer Julia Kendall's style is contemporary with a unique twist. Paul! Hello. Julia, nice to meet you. Oh, Paul, this is a great house. This is a family house. Oh, hi. Hi, great nice to, meet to meet you. you. Hi, Veronica. Hi. Hi, Bevan. Hi. Julia, great to see you. So, it doesn't look like you guys have been here very long. We've been moving in for the last six or seven weeks, so... Right, yeah. a slow process. Yeah, it is. OK. Yeah. Um, so you guys can't all possibly fit on that sofa? No, we always kind of fight between us to see who's going to sit on it, and then... Um, and once yeah. Paul loses, does he get to sit on the floor, then? Right there on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you use this room for? Mostly um, at the moment. Is this a party house? Oh, definitely. Definitely yeah. a party room. Yeah, you can tell by the floor, yeah. and this is, this is the... <laughs> instead of the white handbag, it's that. <laughs> Do you all dance around it? <laughs> with our square. Um, yeah. but this is the... Because yeah. we've got quite a large family, you see, okay. so when they, when they come round, it's, yeah. it's this room. Excellent. Bit of music, yeah. some wine. So is this your only reception room? Is this the main focus of there the house? There is another room? area, yeah. kitchen, where yeah. we kind of get together okay. and cook. Yeah. The dining table, I can't imagine you get a lot of your family around that. Well, this is an old table that we bought from the old place. So yes. It's really tatty and yes. it's just practical at the moment. Yeah. But you could do yeah. with something yeah. a lot yeah. bigger, yeah. I'm sure. This, yeah. this is the family as it used to be. <laughs> small. Better now trendy. It's expanding now. Yeah. Expanded. Yeah. Now yeah. Also big. yeah. Yeah, OK. And, uh, oh, talk me through the kitchen. Um, oh, well, where to start, <laughs> really? Where to start? <laughs> Am I allowed to say um, it is very ugly, this kitchen? <laughs> It is very hideous, isn't it? Oh, it's, it's, it's one of the worst kitchens I've seen. It. This, this yeah, time. Nice. Yeah. So, okay. am I right in thinking that you probably want quite a funky kitchen, kitchen here? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Funky, microwavable, trendy kind <laughs> yeah, of kitchen that we could all kind of get in and do something. Okay. There isn't time to do all the bedrooms, but two in particular will need help. Okay, so whose room's this? It's my room. Ah, blue for a boy. Blue for a boy. Very, yeah. very awful blue. It's quite a lilac-y blue, isn't it? I don't like anything about this room, so... Yeah, we've got a really strong colour carpet in yeah. here. Um, and uh, we've got interesting brick... Brickwork again, yeah. Which is blue again. And uh, this cupboard here, which I assume is your... What, it is the wardrobe? Yeah, yeah, this is this kind of lack of space again. Yes, it's not deep enough yeah, to hang clothes either, is it? Anything there, no. no. This is the trouble actually with Victorian houses where you've got chimney breasts in every room, which is lovely yes. to have chimneys. The depth is never enough to have a full depth wardrobe, That's which right, is always yeah. a real pain. And you end up with this, this horrible detail mm. here. So, this is something we want to have a look at, yes, I think. Come definitely. up with some cunning solutions. Definitely. Space. And uh, what would you like in here? This has got to be a funky orange room, surely. Not orange. <laughs> um, <laughs> kind of. Kind of, kind of um, um, I don't, a man colour. A my man colour. colour. My colour. What's Me. Like that, then? Um, <laughs> you. Kind of a bluish, I think. I'm not sure about this. You want to go from blue to blue? It's kind of a different blue. This is kind of um, violet, isn't it? It is quite lovely. Yeah, looking, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, well, after the strong blue of the last room, this is a lovely, relaxing, yeah, neutral this room. This is my room. Very nice. Yeah. Again, not a lot of furniture in here. I know, very bare. It is. It is very pretty yeah. bed. 
Um, that's been in the family quite a while. Has I it? don't really like it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the one item think, of furniture yeah, and then you don't like it. It's a bit it. girly for me, actually. Oh, it's you're a bit not kind a girly of, girl. Not really, no. I think I want something kind of like bold and wooden. Do you? Yeah. You see, we yeah. might get the orange in here. <laughs> 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 so, guys, I really enjoyed having a look around your house today. Um, I'm not quite sure why you bought it because you don't actually seem to like anything <laughs> in it. <laughs> But uh, no, what we have got here is a fantastic opportunity to really beef it up a bit and make it a really cool family home. I think in the sitting room, we've got to get the seating right so that you can all enjoy the space um, and not fight over the little sofa. <laughs> and here, well, frankly, I think we should just let a bomb off, really. Because <laughs> it's uh, in need of uh, some serious yeah, attention. Um, it is the worst room and it's going to be the most used room, I think, yeah, for you guys yeah. as well. Today's makeover day. While Julia briefs her team. It's a narrow stripe to the right of it with a bit of a gap. Yeah, you've got to keep that. The family makes sure there'll be no confusion over which items they want to keep. Okay, I think we, we'll keep this one then because I like that. And I'm not okay. sure. Would you? Yeah, yeah. Right. I can fit in somewhere. Before Julia and her 18 strong team start on the makeover proper, there's a chance to clear the house of the stuff we'll be junking. Now, when I was talking to the guys before, the vibe I got mm. was that Veronica seems yes. the most specific about what she wants. Yes. Absolutely. She really, really knows what she likes. Um, and I'm a bit concerned because I've not actually given her quite what she's asked for. She said that she likes quite neutral colours, she? did. She? That's what she said, yes. Earthy colours. Yes, she's not getting it. OK. But that's, you know... <laughs> That's brave. It's, it's brave. No, I think she's going to like it. I wouldn't it. want to cross her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping she's going to like it. Was Paul specific about what he liked? Paul was, no, not, not really. But uh, he wanted something that's quite sort of macho. And uh, we've got the, the dark blue carpet, which we've had to work with in his, his room. Mm. So we're going for quite a masculine uh, look in there. We've got the most amazing timber veneer that we're running through, of course, a brown air, which I'll show you in a bit. Look, I'm looking at this. I'm wondering what this is all about. <laughs> this is so cool. Now, bear in mind, these are party people. Again, they've said they wanted calm colours. Again, in here, they're getting something a little bit more zingy because they, they have loads of parties. They have lots of family come round to play. So, look, check this out. <laughs> like, <so> <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's fantastic. fantastic. Don't you love it? The owners will be spending the next hour in this luxury people carrier. They're not going anywhere, it's just to keep them out the way. So in you go. Okay. Wow. you got a choice All of right. DVDs there. A home cinema. <laughs> <laughs> Next time they see their place, they might not recognise it. There you go. Not too nervous, are you? Nope. A little bit. A little bit. Yeah, I am. No last-minute regrets? No, 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 no. I'm just looking forward to watching the films. OK. Well, I'm going to leave you in there, and I'll see you later. Hey, Troll! <laughs> OK, guys, time to synchronise watches. Julia, are you ready? Yes, Claire. Team, are you ready? Yes! Here we go. Three, two, one. <whistles> OK, guys, the makeover has now started. Come on, in you go. Today we're in North London in the home of Veronica, Paul and Beverly. And I tell you, their house is in desperate need of a makeover and we've got 60 minutes to do it. Come on, boys. Here we go. Right, we've got an enormous amount to do. In the kitchen, we're laying a rubber underlay straight over the old terracotta tiles, and we'll be sticking a new floor on top of it. In the dining room, we're starting with this lime-coloured fruit fool paint. Now look at that speed. Pretty impressive. In the lounge, zingy bright colours, starting with this holiday blue are replacing the faded yellow. Julia's also planning to use accent colours, like citrus orange and turquoise on the furniture and accessories. It wouldn't work in a dark room, but in a bright room like this, it should be OK. Are you impressed with this? <laughs> faster, faster! <laughs> Isn't that a great colour? It's gorgeous. It's, it's really, really pretty. It? It's very, very, very pretty. Very pretty indeed. I don't think it's going to offset that... Bright orange, really, really well. I don't know. It well. <laughs> Next to Paul's room. Yes. The 
plan in here is to paint accent stripes, which will break up the continuous sweep of blue wall and complement the new wall unit. Have you done that yet? <laughs> Have you got enough room to move? Just about, huh? Got an enormous amount to do in here. It's a bit scary, but uh, I think I'll probably better let them do it for a while. <laughs> We've chosen amethyst for Veronica with this soft Montelimar paint. Do you like it? Yeah, I do. <laughs> You've got to say that, haven't you? <laughs> Paul's room, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. This is Paul's room. And again, basically, because with all this going on over on the side of the room, yeah, uh, we haven't got time to paint all the way round. So again, taking the focus on the blue, yeah, just a, a bit of focus colour. That's a really good tip, isn't it? Yeah. If you don't want yeah. to do too much paint, you just do it in panels. <laughs> yeah. And this huge wall unit's going in, which is covered in a veneer known as zebrano. It's from a zebra tree. I'm not kidding. This very, very is the absolutely sun. the in thing to use at the moment. It's quite seventies looking, isn't it? No, it's stunning. Oh, no, no. <laughs> forgive. <laughs> it looks nice. It's lovely. It's going to be really fabulous I in this room. Like it. Yeah, yeah. It's very masculine. Very sophisticated. In the kitchen, we're gluing down this new aluminium checker plate floor. It's often used in industrial buildings. A new freestanding kitchen will slide in on top. Uh, in my love, how are you doing? Not too bad. Just a little bit of paint on it. What's the unit? Is it? You're going to have to put a couple of coats on? Maybe. I might have to go over it because it's not covering the yellow very well. How's it doing over there? No, it's not going to draw. And if that's dry air, you can see the yellow coming through. That's going to take a time, isn't it? Yeah. It's going to take a time. In the lounge, Julia's chief assistant, Flossie, is creating a piece of handmade artwork. This is a really great idea to make a picture that's really cheap um, and looks very, very effective. It's very textural. We're using a piece of silk over an underlay colour here. And it saves you having to do any painting, it saves having to purchase anything really expensive. Um, and it's going to look really, really pretty and just pull through the colours of the room. Total cost to do this would probably be in the region of about £15, £20, depending on the cost of the fabric you use. OK, and this is what it's going to look like. And when the lights are on, mounted above the fireplace, it's going to look absolutely stunning. Good job, Flossie. Thank you. <laughs> Actually, there's a problem in here, super, super paint. Yeah. As it's drying, the lemon is showing through. Which means they're going to have to put two coats, yeah, two coats on, but I don't think they've got time. Uh, they have whipped along at a pace already. I think they will have time. Uh, Kim, do you think there'll be time to do two coats in this room before tea break? Before tea break? Yeah. yeah. Maybe. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Oh, so I'm making a drama out of nothing, then. Oh, nice. I'm sorry. <laughs> Claire, yes. have you seen the floor? It's fab, isn't it? Isn't it? It's gorgeous. It's really cool. This is metal checker plate. OK, now, is it quite resistant? Will they have to, you know, um, it's, scratch and everything? Or, or? Uh, it will slowly sort of, you know, dull down a bit, but yeah. um, it will be very easy to keep clean and uh, it will take all sorts of knocks. I mean, they use it on the back of lorries. So, of course, it's great. Is this expensive? Um, this, these are about... Uh, Peter, are these about £100 a sheet, these metal sheets? Yeah, a little bit, little bit more than that. Yeah, so the whole floor has cost about £200 because yeah. we've used two sheets, so it's, okay, it's not it? a lot of money, is it? Not too bad, I think. It looks like fantastic. It. I hope so. Oh, oh, from our... oh, I like this room, yeah, I love yes, that uh, colour. You see, it's not too girly, is it? No, isn't it? Well, the flowers and the lilac. That's lovely. No, now this is absolutely the most stunning thing. Um, it's a photographic image. And, uh, so it's not it's paper, just... not wallpaper. It is wallpaper, but they, they sort of put a photographic image onto the wallpaper, and you can actually have it for the whole width of the room. Really? Um, and does this work out a lot more expensive than regular wallpaper? It, it is a very expensive thing to do, for sure, which is I'm really lucky to have it today, and I've based the whole room around it. This single piece costs £780.